gas money. So, but then there's those guys who stand by Benchmade, know their quality, know their reputation, you know, more power to them. Um, you know, how you roll is how you roll. So, let's go into the knife. As you can see, the blade is a spear tip design. It's a partially serrated blade. Uh, it comes in uh, satin or uh, black black oxidized. I think I'm saying that right. Anyways, either silver or black, however you like it. Um, moving towards the back, you'll notice that across the blade there is jimping on the bottom and on the top. All right, the handle actually forms really nice to your uh, hand. And there is jimping on the spine of the uh, handles, and uh, you kind of you kind of slip through it. But well, where it does redeem itself is on the blade. You can slip through, but once you hit that blade, it's like hitting a brick wall. Your thumb instantly stops. So as for jimping, home run on the uh, on the blade half. Really digs into your thumb and really locks it in there, which brings up a uh, one of, a cool little feature that this isn't just a rescue blade you can use it as an EUC and I would dare to say you can use it as a self-defense knife or a tactical knife um, heck especially a tacti tactical knife you have multiple features on there that are multiple capabilities rather than just uh, what this will bring All right so um, one of the marketing features that SOG uh, came out for this was its one hand, or the ability to deploy this with one hand. And I gotta say, excuse me, this blade's still new and still tight, still needs to uh, break in or be broken in. But um, the ability to use this with one hand, and for me, the ability, or for others, the ability to use this with the gloved hand, is a huge, huge feature and a huge. Uh, a huge factor in performing your duties uh, with the SOG Trident one of my favorite still my favorite blade uh, I do love that I can deploy rapidly you know I just have to get my thumb in there just enough to uh, hit that stud and push it up but where it falls short for me is putting it or closing it um, that little stud is a little shallow and trying to get that done with a, uh, a gloved hand is a little more difficult uh, with the try, sorry, not try. With the escape, no, it's not spring assisted, but you can get your uh, glove finger in there really well. And as you you can see the difference in the thumb studs, how beefy they are. And uh, because of its rocker lock, you can uh, close it with one hand too if you needed to. Unlike the SOG, where it take some fumbling around with the gloved hand. Alright, so uh, moving on, the clip, um, it's there, you know, it's kind of your run-of-the-mill clip. It's not a deep pocket carry clip, which, eh, kind of a hit on my side, you know, I, I prefer the deep pocket carry. So when I'm car walking around in my everyday clothing, uh, I'm not going to worry about it falling out. But uh, it can also work to a disadvantage, um, the deep pocket carry. Uh, I have noticed whenever I'm trying to pull up my knife, especially under my bunker gear, that uh, it is hard trying to get a hold of your knife or try to find it, especially if you have other tools in there, uh, other fire rescue tools or, you know, BP cuffs, stethoscopes, scissors. Um, it can be a little bit of a hassle. Uh, this the handle sticks out about under half an inch or so and uh, I will say that in a uh, EMS situation that it uh, it is nice to have that little bit sticking out so you can pull it out and deploy it easier um, and of course if you haven't noticed this review is geared more towards EMS rather than uh, everyday care or you know everyday use but you know try to cater to, cater to both and there are guys who like deep pocket there are guys who like standard clips uh, pro or con uh, however you want to take it uh, the handle again it's made out of aluminum 
on both sides. Uh, on this side it does have a polycarbon insert and in that insert there is actually a spare blade for the cutters. All right, uh, another win for this is the locking mechanism. It's not like the arc lock. All right, good lock, but uh, it is a rocker lock system and when you deploy the blade there is a solid click. All right, and that click to me it just sounds like safety. Every time I hear it, it just sound, says security. I know that blade's going to be locked in place and ready to rock and roll when I need to. I've already thumped on it on the back end of the blade, and uh, the lock holds true. All right, moving along with the cutters. So again, what I was looking for in a in this blade was a solid set of cutters, and uh, the Trident offers that, but it it falls short due to a, uh, a due to a bad design. I just had to come out with that. Um, it where the cord or the webbing or whatever you're gonna cut with meets is right on the belly of the blade. So as you come down, you end up snagging or jamming up, gumming up, whatever you want to call it, right in that little corner, and it just becomes a hassle to try to cut with. I mean, I've tried to do it with seat belts. I've done it with paracord. It, it's just a hassle, and it's kind of an embarrassing moment when other firefighters are watching you and expecting that knife to uh, perform well. So that's a hit towards the Trident. Um, again, what I thought would work well with the uh, V cutters on these, on the power assist and power lock, kind of the same issue. Um, kind of get snagged up a little uh, if you get the right angle you know you will cut pretty well but it still doesn't beat the uh, the straight plane plain edge cut of what the escape offers and what this little rescue me keychain offers um, you can see what I mean that the blade is perfectly straight maintains that straightness or that level throughout the uh, cut unlike the trident where you as you can see, you do get that belly curve down, and that's where you get your snags. So, love my Trident, but that's one of its downfalls, and kind of a useless feature to me on the Tridents. Um, glass breaker. Uh, again, I was carrying the Power Locks and the Power Sys EOD models for the C4 Punch, and they do make a great glass breaker. But let's face it, that's a lot of weight to be carrying every day or have it at the ready. This comes with a glass breaker. Uh, I have tried it out before. I have tried it out before reviewing this, or making this review, and it does work fairly well. Actually, it do works really well. Um, it's a pyramid design. It's not too aggressive, but it's not too dull. Um, and it looks like you can replace it by just removing these four screws right here, or send them to Saga and they'll swap it out if you ever have an issue. So glass breaker works really well. Uh, belt cord cutter works really well. Uh, unfortunately the most I was able to test it out with is just multiple strands of paracord coming at it at the same time and it pretty much just went through it like a knife through butter so full confidence in that. If it ever gets dull you can replace it and pretty sure you can buy replacement blades for it. Moving on, finally, uh, you have four lanyard options, apparently. Um, you know, hole right there, hole right there, there, and of course there. Um, what I have noticed, and I'm going to try to get this on camera as best as I can, uh, you can see that the blade actually comes, or falls into this little hole, and, excuse me for a sec, and what you can use this for is uh, stripping wire, or stripping anything if you want you know get in there pull down pull back haven't tried it just a thought uh, wrapping it up now battery's kinda dying so I gotta speed it up and try to keep this review pretty short overall I'd give the knife about a uh, well, as of May 22nd 2012 one day into it uh, again preliminary reviews I'd give it an 8 out of 10 uh, it does have some hits against it uh, some preference hits, but you can also turn those around and turn them into pros. Um, for, let's go down the pro list. Uh, for me, 
all in the one tool. Uh, blade is sharp right out of the box. The jimping is excellent. And it has that solid lock to it. Um, some of the cons against it, it is a little heavy, especially for an EDC or carrying it around. But uh, when carrying it with other tools, it will stand out. And uh, I think that it, I feel that it would actually aid with trying to find the tool or trying to find the knife among your pockets. Uh, it does not deep carry, but like I said before, that could also aid you in finding it. Uh, this last one is just personally me. I prefer a spring assist knife, but for its price point and for what you all for what you're getting and its uh, ergonomics, I, I don't think it's a showstopper. I think I'm just being a little nitpicky there. So that's the SOG Escape. Uh, I hope this answered a lot of questions, and uh, I'll get back to you in six months and give you a, another review, and we'll go from there.